What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing War Walkers. Um, it's basically the it, it's like it's a planeswalker deck. You've seen them before. We we wipe the field a bunch of times. We have our planeswalkers make tokens. Except this time we have War Leader's Call in the deck uh, and Lightning Helix. Well, what War Leader's Call is what that's going to do is when we uh, when a token enters the battlefield under our control through one of our many planeswalkers, well, one of our three planeswalkers. Um, Wandering Emperor, Quintorius Canned, or Archangel Elspeth, uh, we, they will get damage done. The opponent will have damage done to them. One damage for each creature um, that enters the battlefield. Then we get a couple of these. We double that. You know, we, we multiply that by how many we have on the field. Um, plus, our tokens get stronger with this on the field because everything gets plus one, plus one. Um, so now the two, the one ones that Archangel Elspeth put on the field uh, with lifelink become two twos with lifelink, which means we gain more life whenever they do damage. Um, and it's also, they're harder to block and harder to attack into. So that's really cool. Uh, the wandering emperor in here, obviously because of the two, two samurai creature tokens and wandering emperor is an amazing, uh, planeswalker. Um, it is possible that when this gets, uh, rotated out, you could replace her with, uh, Oh, what's the, what's the other one? Um, Jaya. Jaya makes some pretty good tokens. I wanted to keep it quite simple in here, though. Like, I didn't I didn't know what to put in, what to take out, so I, was just, I kind of had to compromise. I was going to put Jaya in here. Jaya is a really good uh, Planeswalker to put in, especially because the 1-1 the one, one token cre uh, creature tokens get Prowess, which will proc from Get Lost, Sunset Revelry, and Lightning Helix. Um, and, of course, depopulate, but that's not going to matter because it's going to die anyways. Um, it also uh, procs from War Leader's Call, too, but... You know, we, we're going to want that on the field before we get through this. But um, yeah, I, I decided four wandering emperors because I really need the we need the removal. We need to um, we need to get to four or five uh, mana, and to do that we have to have our board wipes. We have to have our removal. Anything that keeps us in the game, like sunset revelry, which gains us four life if we have less life than our opponent, uh, draws us a card if they have less cards. And the best part about it, it makes two one one white human creature tokens if they have more creatures than we do, which also proc the war leader's call. Um, for those moments where like mono red is about to kill us, you know, gaining four life is not nothing. Uh, we have a couple get lost for pesky planeswalkers and or pesky enchantments because we're uh, enchantments are hard to deal with. We do have ways. We have two farewells in the deck. Um, but sometimes you just need that targeted removal. Uh, and then we have three ambitious farm hands to make sure that we get the the mana that we need. We don't have double red in here because I said we didn't put the Jaya in, but we do have double white. So we do want to get more um, plains than than uh, mountains. We also have two Sokenzons in here <laughs> because the Sokenzon is actually really good in this deck, especially. Um, well, we're not gonna have any legendaries, but you know we're gonna get to that four mana, and we're gonna be able to use Sokenzon as a uh, utility. Get two one ones. They become two twos. What war leaders call? They do damage to your opponent. They allow you to attack into planeswalkers right away because they have haste. Uh, all all sorts of good stuff. We have two restless bivouacs for that same reason to attack into planeswalkers, um, or just to kind of like if we don't have a planeswalker on the field to rebuild to be able to attack our opponent after we've wiped the field. Um, it's just a really good card to have in this deck. Um, we also have Igonjo, which you could use it as a utility, but. I mean, it, I mean, it's there for a utility, but we we might want to use it as a uh, land as well. Um, Quintorius, of course, amazing, amazing static effect. Um, but uh, also good to get those th the three two on the field, you know, and uh, the gain that life, baby, the gain that friggin' life. Um, it's my favorite elephant, you know. Um, also, did I mention the lightning helix? Lightning helix is pretty cool. Three damage to any target, you gain three life. It's like a lightning strike that has life link, um, but. A as far as that goes, uh, Archangel, yeah, we can um, we can make things fly with this, but we really want to create those one ones. We're all about trying to use these planeswalkers to try to make tokens, hit them with War Leader's Call, hit them hard because they're pumped, and wipe the field when we need to, and then rebuild immediately with these planeswalkers. So, um, so if you're willing to make a deck like this, uh, if you want to put more planeswalkers in, you can. Um, there's not that many more planeswalkers that I would like really care about in this deck. Um, these are the three though. Uh, and they're really good planeswalkers. So, um, let's get into the games and see how this deck does. It is time for War Walkers. We have the Restless Bivouac. We have the Sokens on. We have a lot of stuff here. Uh, we have enough for War Leader's Call. We have enough for Get Lost. We just need one more uh, land. And we can play the Elspeth. All right. <clears throat> Bivouac it is. Bivouac! 
War leaders call into Archangel on the next turn after that. that that's that's pretty that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, put that up so we can hold up get lost if we need to although getting get lost this early eh, I don't know if it's gonna be very impactful on like a two mana thing unless that two mana thing is like I don't know uh, I don't know like insidious roots or something which they can't because they don't have the they don't have the correct mana okay So they're a life gain deck, huh? Well, I think if we do that, I think we'll be okay. Let's go, war leaders call. Hmm. Hoping for another untapped land. The Windscarred Crag this late is not great. Um, we can soak. Oh, so Kenzon's gonna be so good with the war leaders call though. That's fine. We can get lost the Resplendent Angel. This is a, a a life gain deck, and we are taking away their life gain. I think here we're gonna get lost this thing. We need to. Resplendent Angel's too good. They're, now they're gonna get rid of our War Leader's Call. I mean, they might have all. They might also have a get lost. Good night. Nice! You know what else is nice? Oh, I don't want to use that yet. You know what? We'll use it if we have to. Alright, War Leader's Call and Planeswalker. Let's go. Pretty cool stuff. Gets haste? Gross, dude. Do they have one? No. Okay. So, do we play the Sokenzon and Sunfall? Yeah, they're getting a lot of value out of the two get loss that we use, but... Oof. Okay. We could wait. Alright, I know I probably should do this, but I want to get less cards in my hand so I can draw a card here. And now they lose two more life. Will they? Are they willing to lose the Lunark Veteran to get rid of one of my tokens? No. All right. I think we Lightning Helix whatever they target with this, with the uh, Angel Fire Ignition, if we can. They need one more land, though, to do it. Will they do it? Okay. We don't have counters, so we don't really care. Okay, so they have the mountain. Finally. <laughs> Plus two plus one plus one counter gains vigilance, trample, lifelink, indestructible, and haste. Gross, dude. That's such a cool card, but yeah. I think that it, it falls victim to just like removal, you know? If you're targeting something and they remove that thing, you just it's 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 a two for one. Alright, what are we doing? I don't think they win this, to be honest. I don't know. Like, I mean it's maybe too early to say, but We've got a Planeswalker, we've got War Leader's Call, we've got stuff... Oh. You know, I... Okay. Well, if we attack and they don't block, we get a bunch of damage off them, then we can Sunfall, right? I think Sunfalling is, like, the way to go with this one. Okay. The thing becomes indestructible. 
but it doesn't become um unexilable. <laughs> I don't think they want to lose anything. They have life gain, so they might not block. You know, they might think, well, I could just gain that life back, you know? Like, why aren't you using the Restless Bivouac? Oh, I haven't, I have, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a plan in my head. Do not worry. I know someone out there is probably going to be like, why didn't you do that? I, I don't worry about that. Okay. Use that, go ahead. Sure. Thing is, next turn they're not gonna be able to... Oh. They're not gonna be able to play something and Angel Fire Ignition. This is where they probably give up. No? Get more damage off them. Just rebuild. That's the whole deck, is War Leader's Call, rebuild. Even if we don't have War Leader's Call, we're still, like, destroying their field and rebuilding. So it's, like, not entirely dependent on War Leader's Call, but it still helps that it's a thing. Aurelia, the War Leader. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. And then we do this. And then, you know what? Let's do this. Let's hit him with a Niner. Boom! And then Lightning Helix will finish it off. Unless they gain some life. They might gain some life here. They are a life gain deck. But I think the writings are on the wall. You gotta kill this. Good game. Good game, my friend. Good game. Wait, good game for me or for you? <gasps> oh no. Okay. If we lose, none will be spared. Uh, this is scary, because I don't know what they're up to. They said good game and they continued playing. I do not like that, my friend. What are we waiting for? What are we doing? I have a token with 811 counters on it. I mean... It's pretty gross. Oh, thank you so much. That was nice of you. <laughs> the wind scarred crag. We got lightning helix. We've got stuff to fend off our opponent for a while. I think we'll take this. <laughs> Even though we're going second and we have a tap land, uh, I think we're going to gain some life here. Oh, okay. Sunfall, baby. Sunfall is going to be our best friend, to be honest. So, let's not do anything just yet. Willow Geist, yeah, this is the uh, Insidious Roots deck. Sure. That is nice, too. Okay. Um... Hmm. Will we make it, though? I think we will. We'll take the damage. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to take this damage. We don't mind. Okay. Now what? Undead butler, sure. Those were not good mills. Um, let's see. And let's do some damage here. Boom. Let them con commit to the board, sure. Sure. I will take it.
Ooh. It's fine. Attack first. Sunfall the crap out of all this stuff. Surveil one, sure. I think we have more sunfalls where that came from. We have more, more, more ways to exile, too. We just need to find a planeswalker, honestly. Let's kill that. And let's attack for six. Icker Drinker. If you don't have... See, if you don't have the Insidious Roots, that's bad. Like... Okay, you might find it here. Definitely put that in the graveyard, for sure. Ooh, there goes my freaking War Leader's Call, but hey, tit for tat, you know? They were... Oh, they don't play it? Um... Boom! Let's go. He's gonna block, probably. The big issue is we have to populate, and even if they fill their field with like zero one tokens, like we could just destroy it. What the hell is that? Whenever a frog you control attacks, mill three cards. Whenever a permanent card is put into your graveyard. Let me play lands and cast spells from one card you want to exile. Uh, mill three card. Okay. I'm not going to do anything this turn. I'm going to wait till he attacks. I'm going to let him mill. Hopefully he mills another Insidious Roots. Uh, this is something new. I didn't see the. I didn't see this one coming. We tried the blue version, uh, a blue version of this. And I haven't said the blue version, but a blue version. And uh, I think I just like the regular... Uh, Golgari version of it better just because it's simpler just easier to like figure out which cards to put in the deck and which cards not to See I'm not Much of what you would call a smart man. <laughs> I Don't like fig trying to figure out left and right what cards to put in a deck It's it's pretty hard and it gets harder the more colors you have in your deck You know you can figure out this goes here. This goes there. You know all that good stuff. You know, I don't know why I became southern all of a sudden uh, But okay, so they they can do all this, but it's just like, at this point, what what are we doing? Why are we doing it? Why are we doing this dance? War Leader's Call. I have another War Leader's Call. Um, Even if they do attack, do we, do we exile it? Or do we put the Wandering Emperor in play and make a token and then get an extra damage off? They, like, he literally can't attack, though. Because if he attacks, he leaves himself open and, and loses. So they, just, they, don't, they can't really do anything here. I think they're roping me. <laughs> Either that or they're really thinking. But I think at this point, it is a rope. But we'll take this time to talk and have some fun. What do you, like So, like, we, yeah, I mean, uh, I really like this idea of the War Leader's Call and uh, Planeswalkers that make tokens. It's just, it's the classic deck, you know? Uh, the Planeswalker deck with the uh, Ward Wipes has, has always been a powerful deck. Now you add something like War Leader's Call to make those tokens even better. Not to mention the tokens from Elspeth that, you know, they have lifelink. So, like, now they're more powerful with War Leader's Call. I, I just love it. And this is probably all stuff that I say in the intro. So, you know. <laughs> I'm just reiterating it here. If I say it. You know. I probably will. I know. You guys have probably figured it out by now. I do my intros after I'm done playing the games. <gasps> the magic! Um. Okay. And let's go... Samurai token. Um. I think we make another samurai token. All right, yeah, they're um, they're definitely roping. They're mad. They thought their uh, their glow, their Grolden, Grolnock was gonna do something. The omnivore. Is this like a Slogurk's brother or something? Uh, they thought. 
They thought, but they did not know. All right, well, there's the blue rope. I know someone had told me, you need to cut out all of your, your ropes and stuff. Listen, I like to talk. And when I'm concentrating on the game, I don't get a chance to talk much, right? But when this stuff happens, I can talk. I get to have a little conversation and stuff. So, you know, sometimes I'll cut it out, sometimes I won't, you know? But, head explodes in three, two, one, and boom. Awesome game. See, opponent goes first. We have Ambitious Farmhand. <coughs> so, we'll at least get to the Wandering Emperor. I'll keep it just because we have the ramp. Ooh, life gain once again. And we have the War Leader's Call. Nice! Deep Cavern Bat. There goes my War Leader's Call. However, I think you should actually get the Ambitious Farmhand. Set me back a little bit. Make me look for those lands. <laughs> they hover over them, make them think. And like, oh, yeah, I should, uh, yeah, I should do that one. War Leader's Call. Really? Okie dokerson. That's fine. Uh, take action. I don't think there's an instance where we need double red in this deck. I think the only reds we have are uh, Quintorius, War Leader, and uh, the other thing, the uh, Lightning Helix. Here comes another bat. They always have two. <sighs> Voice of the Blessed, sure. Mm -mm. We need to hit those land drops. Take action. Alright, so... We need one more land. Never mind. <laughs> they probably should take the other Wandering Emperor, right? Oh, it, well, it's just gonna. This one's just gonna die, right? I think Sunfall is a scary thing because when this thing gets vigilance, it's, they don't have to worry about the Wandering Emperor anymore. Okay. Don't attack with the voice of the blast, because if you do... Oh my god. It's got vigilance, but it's still tapped. My guy. Mm-mm-mm. Exile that. Can't it can't be taking no damage this turn. Um They know I have the sunfall. I don't know what they're doing. They have a third bat, I wonder. Okay, whatever. I mean I'll take it. Opponent goes first, but we have lightning helix, lightning helix, get okay. Uh I'll take it. Yeah, we'll go red. We'll match red for red. We'll ambitious farmhand. Okay, we'll take two. This might be a good matchup for us, but it might not. I don't know. Let's see. We have four mana. We have two lightning helixes. What does this do? Whenever one or more dinosaurs you control attacks, create that many treasure tokens. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 3-1. Whenever you cast an artifact spell... Do I kill this now? Hmm. Because if they cast the artifact spell, they still get the, uh, the ability. So, if I kill it now... Yeah, I'm gonna kill it now. And we could depopulate Sunfall later. We can I Ganjo if I get a different land, but I probably won't. I knew that was gonna happen. Mm 
We can I ganjo this. I'm okay with that. Okay. Don't have double. Yeah. They're going to create that many treasure tokens, though. Don't know if I'm okay with that. So now we can't Iganjo it because we we got lost. Now let's just do that. I gotta use the Iganjo. Oh, do we have to Sunfall? I don't know if we entirely have to Sunfall yet. We can Sunfall next turn. Okay. Sure. All right, they have nothing now. All right, let's get Quin Quintorius onto the field. So, all this mana and probably probably I would say there's probably a uh Oh, okay. Probably should have attacked me. All right. Um. Get some creatures on the field, I guess. And that's another uh, another win, another mega win. Uh, this is this is pretty decent, I guess. I'm, I'm, we go first. Um. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll keep it. The whole drawback to like a board wipe is the fact that it kills your own stuff too. But when you have like literal lemmings uh, on the field where like you just don't care if they die, like it, it's, there's, it ceases to be a drawback, you know? Uh, I need to get this uh, farm hand out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Put the planes out, play the war leader's call. If they don't play something, don't play anything. Alright, no need to play anything at this point. Let them tap out and then play something. Okay. What's this do? Whenever you cast an instant or source spell, create a 2 2 black zombie creature. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more zombies, you may transform. Okay, um. What do I want to do now? Do I want to wait and hold up Wandering Emperor? Yes. Because he might attack first, and then we can exile it. Okay. Now we get to do that. Um, let's see.
Play that just in case they have something. Strike fast and strike hard. All right. They're gonna want to attack the Wandering Emperor. If they, you know, if they don't attack it, we're in a good a good position here. Um, five mana now, and they cycle. That's amazing. Now we do that. Do the talking. We attack. Play Quintorius. I won't give in. Play another one. Quintorius. We're still in danger here of like getting wiped, but like I said, does it matter? Even if they kill our war leader's call, we're still in a, a good position. This is pretty hard to deal with. They might have the thing, though. Beseech the mirror, sure. What are you getting? Monastery mentor, sure. I honestly don't care. And we can do this. One, two. Forge. Attack with all. Yep, they don't get to have their monastery mentor anymore. They're in, they're in pretty big trouble here. Two left. Two life left. We literally just make two tokens and we win, so they have to get rid of these, or the War Leader's Call, or everything. We have like, have, there's like three things they have to do here to survive. And I don't think they can do all of it. Sure. Absolutely. Can you make enough tokens to block everything? Oh, he had to kill himself. Sudoku baby. If someone doesn't commit hot hot Sudoku in one of, in in one of my games during a video, is it really a super beast video? Um This is pretty shice hand, isn't it? I think this is where we lose, guys. We've won too many. I think I think we have to lose one and this is it. Um let's go. Let's Let's do that. Uh how many sunfalls do we need? And just not two. I tell you that much. Also, we had the Wind, Windscarred Crag and the Restless Bivouac. In both opener, in both the Mulligan and the opener. It's like they want us to have the two tap lands. This is why I'm saying it's going to be a loss. It's 100% a loss. They can counter. No, they can't counter this. This is black green. This looks blue to me. This is very, very uh, confusing. I don't like that at all. Do you have something? They don't. Well, they do, but it's a uh, edict, Sheldred's edict, I think, because they were able to play it while it was on the stack, and they don't have blue, so there's no counters. So they have Sheldred's edict. We just got to watch out for that because we do have planeswalkers, and that is scary. Glissa, sure. Um. Kill it with fire. Right now. Arch Fiend of the Dross. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I lose some I lose some good life here, but that's fine. Okay. They don't play anything else. We do have an advantage with the sun. Ooh. You know what? Let's do this first. Make them lose a little life.
Restless Cottage, sure. Yep, they get that. They attack us, we take two. Hmm. Two, four, five. I mean, you know, let's get greedy. I lose my restless bivouac if we do this. Let's not get greedy. No attacks. That's fine. I thought better of it. Death touch. Now they can. Yeah, they're gonna play a bunch of stuff. They're oh, they're gonna they're gonna attack me with that. That's fine. Sunfall's arch nemesis. So now we can play both sunsets. Uh, let's go sunset revelry. And then I think what we do is let them attack. We can double block the restless cottage. Never mind, they have two restless cottages. Oh, we can still double block it. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. I think we do this. I think we get greedy here. We just we just gotta make sure the archangel lives. Okay, they can do that. That's fine. Like I said before, even if it dies, we still are pretty good. Well, that sunfall is gone now, isn't it? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. Hmm. Well, we definitely care if she dies. All right, go to blockers. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right, well, if we if we draw a sunfall or depopulate, we're in a good position. They might as well use the food. Why not, you know? First of all, let's do this. Discover four. Ah! Come on. Put in hand. Uh, take action. They're gonna want to take out the Quintorius as well. I had I had to throw a hail mary there. Like, I there's no way. Virtue. Okay. Well. Yeah. I mean, I told you from the beginning this was gonna be a loss. We knew it. We won too many games in a row. When you win too many games. The uh, arena does not allow you to win that many games in a row. Also, if you've won like 50 games in a row and like haven't haven't lost in, in that in that time, congratulations to you for beating the algorithm. 
All right, we have like a chance here, right? Like if we draw any any board wipe. Any board wipe, wipe at all. I think we're decent. But we're not going to draw a board wipe. There's no way we do. Yeah. That, that, that's what I figured. Um, yeah. I mean, nothing you can do about that. I mean, do we even survive this? I don't think so. We block the biggest thing. No, we don't. Yeah. We knew it. We knew it from the beginning that it was going to be a loss. Like, you, you, I called it. How about one more for the road? And I do like this, actually. Even though the opponent goes first, we're still... We got the get lost. We got the war leader's call. Oop. Bivouac. Bivouac. Ooh. As much as I might want to kill this, uh, I think we let it happen. A lot of lands, but we got to depopulate, so we're good. Picnic Ruiner. Glissa. Yeah. Well, I think now we know we're not putting War Leader's Call out. <laughs> Mm hmm. Hey, no. Hey, no, you don't do that. No. Think we create the soldier, we block one. They can't do this. They can't do underdog and kill it. Unless they have a, another land and a cut down. So. I mean, if we're in a good position, yeah, they, they do have the one land at least. They're using that to kill a 1-1, one, one, though. I'm pretty sure they don't have much. I hate you so much. <laughs> okay. War Leader's Call. Let's see what you got for that now. Ooh. Mm, I just give him more, right? I mean, let him have it. Fine. Oh, you get two more map tokens, but now you don't have this. That's fine. All right. Let's see it to believe it. My God, how many of those are you going to have in your opener? Good God. Another land. All right, well... Here's the thing. Yeah, I can't do the uh, Sokenzon and Restless Bivouac at the same time, so don't worry. It'll be fine. Okay. Lose a life, draw a card, sure. Oh 
nice. A cut down. Now they have a cut down coming. All right. They're not attacking. Well, I have news for you. You should have. Hmm. Hmm. We need to attack this. He'll block. He'll block the restless bivouac. I think. I think he wants to, right? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to get rid of the land. Uh, the Sunset Revelry gets me nothing right now, so we have to actually do something. Making one of these a treasure token is not going to be beneficial, I don't think. Okay, they're blood tokening. That's a good sign. That means they, they're looking for something. They can always hit us with the uh, underdog. Sheldred, sure. Cut down, sure. Okay. We're going to take seven next turn. How many cards do I have in my graveyard? Not enough. Mm. Going for face. And I'll tell you why. Pro player moves. You're at five. Every time they use this, they lose life. They use the zero, they, use, they lose life. Miglas, all right. Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Really? They're that scared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's go Sunset Revelry. Quintorius. All right. We have uh, several one ones. And I think we're going to try to farewell. Oh no. Yeah, I think they're going to. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because actually, if they attack first, they're in trouble, right? They can kill my Quintorius. They can. But we can triple block. Never mind. If they only had a regular Sheldred. <laughs> I mean, a Sheldred the Apocalypse. But then they'd be benefiting off the draw. Four, five. They can do it right now. Are they going to do it, though? They should get rid of the Quintorius. Yeah, they're doing it. Or not. They're looking at something in their hand. Oh, no. I think we're dead. Wait, they don't have that many forests.
Okay. This get menace. It does get menace. Gross. And that already has menace. Two things with menace. Gross. Okay. Mm. Artifacts, creatures, enchantments, graveyards. And then let's discover four. Boom. And we win. Amazing. That was amazing. This might be my favorite deck so far. I love the Planeswalker uh, like mass removal deck. Always been one of my favorites. You know that if you've been watching my content for a little while, you know I've done a few of these and I've done I've done Orzov, I've done Mono White. Uh, this is just another uh, chapter in the uh, the all Planeswalker board wipe deck. And I'm happy that we're doing it in Boros today because Quintorius Canned is a really cool, uh, a very, very good Planeswalker. So um, let me know what cards that maybe you would put in this deck, what other Planeswalkers might be viable, um, what other strategies you would use. I'm, I'm always eager to hear you guys and uh, what you guys want to, you know, what you guys do with your decks. Uh, let me know. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Really helps the channel out. Really helps me out. Uh, really appreciate you all giving me that support. And we will see you next time. Peace out and have a wonderful day.